Price action trading strategy can be very hard unless you incorporate something else with it. Because the movement of price alone is not enough, you need to look at the dominant energy of the market, meaning the buying, the selling, and the blockage of that energy. Let me explain what I mean. By the way, this is going to be a quick video, about 10 minutes. And if you see till the end, I'm going to give you a free gift that you can download. No opt-in, no charge, no nothing. Principally, some of zero dollars. My gift to you to help you with your trading. Here we see we've got, we're going to look at the hardwood edge of the screen because that's where we have to trade. And we see we got a nice Bollinger Band squeeze pattern there. And if you took this short where the Bollinger Band squeezed together and then they start expanding apart, looks like pretty gall darn good short trade. Uh, is it though? And if we go forward bar by bar, you will see that the very next bar is good. Yay, we're still going well. All right, I'm not making any money yet, but at least we're moving in the right direction. Up, oh, a little hesitation. Next bar, well, no so bueno. Next bar, really muy no bueno. And at the, yeah, this just did not work out at all. So what's the problem? We had the price action, right? We had the price strategy. We did have the price action that we're looking for, Bollinger Band squeeze, but we're missing something. And that's the key is that you cannot trade any one thing alone whether it's price that price action or an indicator Bollinger Band or any other indicator we've got to look at multiple things i call it preponderance of the evidence nobody knows what the market's going to do in the future and so what we have to do is trade probabilities now you've heard that probably and yet people in their mind are still looking for certainty there's no certainty in the market so we need a statistical probability and how we do that is we put together uncorrelated pieces of evidence. So it's almost like putting together a um, legal case. So what's an uncorrelated piece of evidence here? That would be support. So let's bring up a some support levels and let's see what we would have seen if we had added this piece of evidence. So when we looked at this, originally we saw, oh wow, we're shorting right into the mid pivot level. And again, that is a horrible thing to do as we go forward one bar, boom, we run right into it. This mid pivot level, with the solar right here, that is the neutral zone for the day when you're day trading. And so we don't want to trade into neutrality. And that's exactly what it is. That's a balance of power, so to say, where the market has no edge on one side or the other. Think of the bell curve, the mean, and we don't want to trade into the mean especially when we're that close to it. All right, if we're really far away from it, then maybe yes. But now when we're right at it, because then the market just hovers around the mean. And so this is what's important to understand is that when you are trading, everything you do should have a statistical component to it, a mathematical component. So that's step one. And most people don't even know how to create a real trading strategy. They're just throwing indicators on a chart and seeing if the market goes in the direction of the indicators. And that is absolutely insane. So first you need to learn how to create a, a good trade strategy. By the way, if you want one, I gave you mine for free. Rubber Band Trade. Go to rubber, rubberbandtrade.com. Pick it up. My gift to you. And that's a winning trade. I still take it all the time these days. And... Um, it's there for you for free. I teach you a little video tutorial on it and get it, make money without paying me anything. All right, now the other aspect of trading then is your own trading psychology. So once you get your rules set up and the rules, the whole point of the rules is it gives you a statistical edge. So they're not gonna be all winners, but over time, over a large sample of data, they will be winners. And that's based on statistics. Now, what you need to do then is write it down because we're humans. And so here's an example of my treaty log. Actually, I'll bring up a, um, a closer view of that. But the key is that area that says mistakes, right? So you can you can have a trading log like most people have, which is just when you get in, when you get out, the time, the price, all of that kind of stuff. That's basically useless because you can download that from your broker and have that data, which is good. But... What I'm talking about here with my trading log, what I do is I write down the mistake and the mistakes are where you break your rules. And so that's what a mistake is. It's defined as which rule, if any, did I break? And that's what's defined as a mistake. Now, if you have a loss and you made no mistakes, we call that a good loss. It means, okay, again, we're trading statistics, not uh, certainties. And therefore, sometimes 
the statistics are not going to work out in our favor. And But we did the right thing because we kept our rule. Now, you keep track of that and you look for patterns because everybody is different. This is a gift you have to give yourself. So once you have established, oh, okay, here are the mistakes that I'm constantly making, then you transfer that over to a weekly blog. So we're keeping track of every trade that we take. We're writing down the mistakes. And then there is, as you can see, each row is one day. And you're going to write down patterns, which mistakes you made, again, breaking your rules. And so you sum it up. Now, this is what you want to see right here. You want to see at the end of the day, mistakes, no mistakes today, no mistakes today, no mistakes today, no mistakes today. You start getting a pattern of that and you are off to the races. Now, nobody is perfect. So for full disclosure, there's going to be some days where this day, a uh, three exited two cents. So I don't have to write down each one. I just, this is for the summary. It just says three times exited too soon. And that would probably be a, a loose day, break even day, whatever. And again, this is a gift you have to give yourself because for each one of us, it'll be different. For some of us, it'll be over trading. For some of us, it'll be getting out of trades too soon. For some, it'll just be, well, it looked good. It was close to my rules, but I didn't actually keep my rules. And that can be a mistake. I got over anxious or I was, and write down your feelings too. I was feeling anxious. I was feeling worried. I was feeling, um, I was thinking about something else. So I got distracted and, or I was frustrated because I wasn't getting enough trades that day. And so I said, well, this one's close to my rules. I'm going to go for it. Or maybe it's one that you just feel good about, right? This happens to people all the time. Oh, I don't know. This just feels right. Well, that's not based on any statistics. So that would be a mistake. And you logs of this day after day, week after week, and then we transfer that to a monthly log. And by the end of a month, you will have a really good idea of your pattern. Again, individual for each person. What are your challenges mentally, psychologically, and with discipline? And then when you start seeing those, then you can, oh, really, it's amazing because we all have this idea in our mind that we know we're making some mistakes, but we're not really aware of how many they are. But when you put it down and you commit it to paper, all of a sudden you can't ignore it anymore. And you realize, huh, wow, this black and white. You know what this is? This is not a piece of paper. This is a mirror. This is a mirror. And when you look at this, it's undeniable what you're doing. I can't ignore it anymore. And that's a good thing because this is what helps change your behavior. A lot of people say, oh, Barry, I know I'm making these mistakes, but I don't know how to change my behavior. I want to do it, but I find myself not being able to do it. These columns were right here. See, I marked them in red. How am I doing red? And so one is gain, dollar amount, gain or loss. That's your actual trade gain or loss for the day. The, or on the trade, and then you add up for the day. And then the next column is, okay, how much would I have gained or lost if I didn't make any mistakes? When you compare this to these two columns, what I found with a lot of my students is that they're already profitable traders if they just stopped making mistakes. That is a huge revelation and a huge motivator for people to change their behavior because they see that, oh my gosh, I'm either close to or already a profitable trader. This is crazy. I love that I'm excited. It gets them inspired and motivated to make those behavioral change. So that's it. Now you can get these locks. I'm going to give you these locks. Like I said at the beginning, I want to give you a gift. So um, just email me support at topdogtrading.com. I've notified my people to send these logs to you. No opt-in, no cost, no nothing. I've given you the basics on how to use a trade now. Remember the key to it is writing down, not just when you get in, when you get out, what price, but the mistakes. Okay, and again, mistakes are breaking your rules. Do it for about a month so you can see the patterns. And then those two columns, the amount you actually made or lost or the amount you would have made or lost if you didn't make those mistakes. And I think you'll see a big transformation in your trading. And again, if you want to actually get one of my trade strategies, just go to rubberbandtrade.com and you get my mini course there. There you opt in and there's five videos there, little mini videos, and they give you the rules. They give you the rules that are statistically proven to start making some money, honey. So go get it. all my gift to you and enjoy the rest of your day.